Welcome back to the Ferris Sports Update. Joined now by Brad Merrick with Ferris State Hockey, and that was just about the most entertaining weekend of hockey that we've had in probably about seven years. How about you? Yeah, it was crazy. The, the building was electric, and uh, we fed into it well, and it, it was awesome. It was a win and a shootout win, so you get five out of six on the road at Bowling Green. You walked into the weekend down six for the last home ice spot. You got some help, which you can never really depend on. How great was it when you went in the locker room and you realized that you're one point out of the last home ice spot? Yeah, something we definitely are, you know, shooting at now, and it, it's huge for us. I mean, to be able to play in our rank, if if we get that opportunity in huge upcoming games against that team we're so close battling with, um, it, home ice would be huge for us playing, you know, in front of our fans, and um, it really helps every night when they show up and we can get a building just just as crazy as Bowling Green did. So um, it it's definitely awesome. Take a look back to the highlights at Bowling Green. You know, it, it's tough to form rivalries when you don't get the results against that team. But I felt like this was maybe the rekindling of an old rivalry here with Bowling Green. It, it was a little bit nasty out there. It was electric. It was fast-paced. It was great hockey. Yeah, I, I'm glad we don't have to play them again. <laughs> <laughs> you take a look here at the highlights uh, from this one. You guys got a great performance both games out of Noah Giesbrecht. A couple of big saves early to keep you in it before uh, you guys get on the board. How huge is he? unbelievable and he you know he is unbelievable and so steiny I think we have such confidence in both goalies and it's huge for us that and you know we do have that every night and we might get out shot and uh, just got to capitalize like Branchy here uh, kids on fire so he is that's uh, five goals in five games for him after this weekend uh, finds a way to get to the rebound beats his guy to the puck you guys go up one nothing um, another incredible stop by Noah here coming across with the left pad and and you go into the period up a goal, feeling pretty good about yourselves, and then you guys are going to extend it here on what was just a sick play between you and Tyler Schlepp. Yeah, great play by Schlepp's here. Um, you know, found me in the right spot. Um, you know, we, we work well together, um, and even Galter. So uh, it was really good, you know, get up two here and uh, keep building. Well, the Falcons are going to come out, and then this is confidence from Noah, just coming out to make a poke mm. check. Got a little scary there, but yeah, he, you know yeah. he's unfazed by all of it. Yeah, we let him do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> Take a look, another big save in front. Uh, the Falcons will get one in the third period, but uh, on the night, Bowling Green got one goal. It came on a two-minute five-on-three. Your penalty kill goes six for six against five-on-four penalty kills. Yep. And, I mean, really, you guys didn't seem to flinch after they got the game back within one. Yeah, no, and I think like plays like that, even like you don't see Galt coming hard back through the middle, uh, back check. Um, that that's a huge play, and guys are, you know, we're, we're, we want we want that mindset of playoff hockey, uh, even if you know they do let up a goal here, but we, we didn't flinch like you were saying, just kind of you know play our game and stick to it, it was our ice that night. So fans start to get into it. Uh, they had another late power play, but uh, Noah continuing to come out, make huge saves in this game, and really you didn't sit back. It just was a case of they got some late rushes. You get a break here when O'Hara loses his feet, and that's the game. You, you get three points on the road, and you're feeling pretty good about yourself after Friday. Yeah, definitely feeling good. And like you said, you can't say enough about Giesbrecht, but I think it's you know whole team defensive end and um, our forwards. We all played well this this that game and this weekend, honestly. We take a look uh, towards Saturday's highlights here. You know this took on the personality of a playoff series. It was intense. I thought you guys played extraordinarily hard all weekend long. Uh, what was it like to, to play in a series where, where it was a lot like playoff hockey? So fun. Um, you know, I think going back to even last year, like when we played Tech, it was it was like that. It was that same feel of, hey, it's going to be a battle every shift, not just, you know, every other. Or, you know, it's it's going to be back and forth. And it was heavy, hard hitting, and, and it was awesome. It's so, Those are the games you want to play in. You go up 2-0 on a shorthanded goal by Mitch Dielstra, creating a turnover. And uh, the crowd got a little bit quiet for the first time all weekend here as you guys go up 2 to nothing. Uh, Bowling Green will get one back here, but then you guys come out the second period and Jason Branshaw just continues to be electric. Of course, yeah. I mean, great play. Um, can't say enough great things about Jason right now, but his line mates are doing just the right things for him too, and um, we need him to keep going like he is. An unreal player. 3-2 going into the third period again, so another uh, lead here, and then you get a little bit of a lucky hop for Caden Golf. That's a big goal for you guys. Yeah, huge goal and a huge confidence booster for Galter too. I mean, he needs that and um, to continue his his progress. But I mean, I think the little things that he's been doing and, and 
Schleppi and you know the, the younger guys have been so great for us. You go to overtime here, Bowling Green gets too late, including a late power play goal, and you guys, I thought you guys were better. I thought so too. I thought we held the play, and we, we just had that swagger in us like we've kind of been talking about, to know that you know this is our game. Big stop here by Giesbrecht after Evano hits the goal post. So you guys will get another chance here in front. Christian Stover also played a great weekend for that goal. Yeah, great weekend for him too. I mean, I know I know Christian and talked to him after the game. I mean, can't say enough great things about him too. So. Into the shootout, Stefan Picorni back end up the stairs. Nice move. You guys get another one here from Branshaw. Those two guys had their hands on this weekend. Don't even know how they can do it. It, it doesn't almost make sense to me. The Branshaw, you're going to see his shootout move just turn him into a pretzel, and then uh, Noah Giesbrecht's going to shut the door for the win. And uh, this is pretty fun. As loud as their mm -hmm. fans were, uh, Noah Giesbrecht quieted them down right here with a little bow <laughs> after the fact. I'm sure that was pretty satisfying for you. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, the, the excitement in the guys' faces and uh, just knowing, like, you know, what we did in that environment. I mean, it was their teddy bear toss night, so their first goal, throw teddy bears. And for us to be able to come right back and answer quickly was huge for us. So it, it's a real test I feel like, in our group. All right, so the team that's directly in front of you in the standings by one point, Bemidji State coming to town this weekend. They're a really good team. Not going to be an easy series. Uh, let's talk about how badly you need the fans to be out this weekend. I mean, it's huge. It, it is. It helps us so much. Like, you could say it and, you know, think I'm lying or something, but it's, it, you're right. You're so right. It's huge. And um, every time we, you know, hear the chants and this, it gets the boys going and it does get us fired up. You talk about just the way your team's playing very hard right now obviously nice to have the day off today you probably need it yeah. with how hard that series was but uh, as you guys refocus what has to happen for you guys to come away winners of this series this weekend a playoff mindset like we keep talking about and knowing that you know it's our building and we got to play to our strategies i know it's a long travel for them uh, so take that maybe friday night 10 minutes we got to capitalize we got to be on them right away and continue going every single shift well, Brad, good luck this weekend, and let's see if we can get some good results. Yeah, thanks, Harry. That'll wrap it up for the Fair Sports Update. For more information on Fair State Bulldog Athletics, visit fairstatebulldogs.com. Until next, next week, this has been Harrison Watt for the Fair Sports Update. Good night, everybody.